Hello, good morning everyone. It's Tiffany back with a series from Breakfast at Tiffany's. To be able to kind of go on the recycle theme that I have been on uh, for a while, if you've watched any of my videos, we've done a lot of recycling with things that typically would be thrown away. So, as crazy as it sounds, and yes, my family thinks that I'm pretty strange, um, I woke up <laughs> the other morning with an idea to print on coffee filters. <laughs> I know that sounds pretty silly that I woke up with that idea, but um, the first idea was just to see if it would actually work and um, how I'm going to use those. So um, what I'm going to do today is kind of show you what you need. You need coffee filters, any kind that you can actually Oh, uh, let me see if I can fix my camera here. Okay, there we go. So, coffee filters. Any um, coffee filters will do. Um, these are the coffee filters that I had. I don't use coffee filters anymore. Um, I have a Keurig at home and at work. So, for me, these coffee filters have been on my mind because I did not want to throw them away. I've done some jelly printing on these with a jelly plate. Um, but I was just like, wow, I have so many. I brought mine home from work because I didn't want them to throw it away. So, I was thinking. And now, these coffee filters are regular coffee filters. What I've done to get them to this point is I've actually ironed them flat. So, in order to print on them, it needs to be a flat surface. So, I took a towel and put it on the bottom. Put the, okay, so here's the towel. Just, let's pretend like this piece of paper is a towel because I'm not going to get a towel out to show y'all. But, this is the towel, okay? This is your coffee filter. I pressed it out as well as I could. And then I took the towel and I folded it over okay like this and then I took a warm iron not a hot iron but just a warm iron and went over it to flatten it completely out so now this is a flat coffee filter okay so the next part we need to talk about is I'm just gonna uh, tape it to this so just like we did with um, my tutorial on printing on deli paper we're gonna do the same thing with this. So we're gonna have to tape it down so that the printer will be able to feed it through. And I'm just using scotch tape here. Um, so you wanna make sure that you secure the edges so that your printer doesn't suck it up and get a paper jam. And what I have noticed with this is because it is a more fibrous um, substance, it does not, um, it doesn't have any real drying time. So as soon as it comes off the printer, you can use it. With the deli paper, you kind of have to let it dry because it doesn't actually, the ink doesn't absorb into the um, deli paper like it does in the coffee filter. So I'm just taking little small pieces and, of tape and taping it around so it doesn't get sucked up. Okay, so now coffee filter is in there. You can use whatever program you have. I don't have anything fancy. I just use WordPad and I typed up some information. Just I just used, did some text. You could do that with anything. Kind of my thoughts are that I could actually take my own artwork scan it in and then print it out on here so I could use it in collage or to layer it or whatever. So, next thing, Abracadabra Hocus Pocus. See, I've already completed it. That's the great thing of um, the cyber world. I feel like I'm on a commercial where you can just pop out the cake that's already baked. So here I've just wrote on there, I love you in the morning and in the afternoon, over and over and over again in some pretty cool font. And then I printed it on this coffee filter. Pretty cool. So, I had already done that. And I actually cut it apart. 
And for me, I like to collage things. I have actually given away the little piece that, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Hold that thought, hold that thought. No, I did give it away. I gave it away in a Happy Mail envelope. I gave, um, I actually put this on an index card or something, I can't remember, and just used it as a decoupage um, collage material. But this will allow you to be able to put this on with gel medium and it will be translucent so you can't see that it's actually paper. So, I hope this is beneficial to you guys. It's just a quick little run through on printing with um, recycled materials again. I hope that you'll save those coffee filters from the landfill and use them in your artwork. Please look, give me the thumbs up if this was beneficial and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys. Till next time.